Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Little Alter Boy by Sound Toys in FL Studio. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got the plugin pulled up here in a vocals and a beat for a song I did called Fast Car about a year ago, just to give you an example of how this works. So what Little Alter Boy is, is a monophonic voice manipulation plugin. It's got a little bit of distortion, a little bit of auto-tune, and then a little bit of pitch shifting and format shifting. If you don't know what format shifting is, it's this right here. You've probably heard it before. I don't really want to tell you but I lost her. Can't go back there. It changes the way the vocals sound to make it sound higher or lower pitched without changing the actual notes or the actual pitch of the vocals. So this is a really fun effect. You've probably heard it before. And this is the best version of format filtering that I've heard anywhere. Melodyne, you've got it on Auto-Tune, you've got it on Pitcher, you've got it on Logic. There's a lot of different things that you have. This sounds really nice. Pitch shifting is the other side of this yellow section here. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost. Go up or down an octave without changing the tonality. Or you can link them together and get kind of that classic chipmunk sound or super slowed down sound. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost her. Kick so that gives you an idea. It sounds really good. I want to emphasize that. I was really surprised when I started working with this. It's it's better than any other plugin that does this for sure. Now in the middle section here we have transpose, which is essentially using this yellow part here without doing anything else. And then quantize is the next thing, which is adding this hard tune effect. Now these vocals have already been tuned, but I did a quick one take on this mic uh, towards the end of the song to give you an idea on how it would sound. Here's without any tuning. Remember back then, I was sad then, in a fast car, no capping. I don't really and here's with quantize on. Remember back then, I was sad then, in a fast car, no capping. I don't really want it. It's kind of this one button, hard tune, auto tune effect. The issue is it doesn't really work as auto tune because you can't choose the scale. So if you want to sound like T-Pain, you're gonna be out of luck because it's gonna be jumping to a lot of the wrong notes and this is not really usable as an auto tune plugin. But it does give like a, distorted kind of hard tune sound that might work for you depending on what you're going for. Uh, but I would not use this as an auto tune effect. Robot is just flattening the entire vocal performance to middle C. So I'll give you an example. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost her. Can't go back there. Remember back there. You could go up or down an octave on format and pitch, flattens everything out and then you adjust it afterwards. And you can automate that too to make for some interesting effects. On the red section here, we have Drive, which is a really good analog model vocal distortion. Uh, just a little bit, sounds like a, some nice warmth. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but. And if I turn it all the way up, it gets really gritty. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost it. Can't go back. But it still sounds great. I'm a big fan of this distortion. It is better than anything stock in FL Studio for vocals. And I stand by that. The mix, wet dry, uh, it's great for putting all this together and doing quick vocal layering, for example. Something like this, but distortion, and you've got octaves. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost her. Can't go back there. Remember back then? And it's so, so easy. That's the cool thing about this is that it takes so little effort and it sounds really good, especially with the pitch, format, and drive combined. Or you can go up. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost her. So a lot to work with there. And that's pretty much how this plugin works. Now I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks specifically for FL Studio. And that comes with automation. The first thing I'm going to show you is robot mode. I'm going to reset these and pull up a MIDI out. And with this, I'm going to we'll set the port to 20. If I click the gears, you can come down here and set the port to 20 as well. And then I've got a MIDI keyboard set up here, so it should just work right off the bat. Each note I hit will change the pitch that it's going to go to. So let's go ahead and play it. I don't really want to tell you how it happened, but I lost her. Can't go back then. Remember back then, I was sad then. In a fast car, no capping. This gives another almost auto-tune functionality or vocoder functionality. It's kind of clunky, but it sounds good, like when it's working and all kind of set up. I'm not mad at it, but it's, it's not the easiest way to get that sort of tone. 
auto tune or vocoder, whatever you're going for. The last thing I'll say is setting up automation because that's when this kind of comes alive. So you can do that. You just twist that knob, go to tools, last tweaked, and then you can link to controller or create an automation clip. So I'll go ahead and create an automation clip. A few right clicks. I don't really wanna tell you how it happened, but I lost that, can't go back there. So there you go. Easy to automate, and you can connect it to the Fruity Peak controller. Did I blow by anything too quick? Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. I need to get to a thousand subscribers so I get a chain. So I appreciate it if you did that. Thank you so much for watching. Little Alter Boy. I'll see you next time.